cold. It is so cold. <laughs> it's cold enough that they canceled school. They did. So. And they, what do they say? It's like a negative 20 windshield? Yeah. And it, it is cold. It kind of mm. reminds me of Minnesota. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That they, it's, I think it's place. colder than Alaska yeah. here. Yeah, it is. They just uh, said once it gets to negative 20, they can't have kids standing at bus stops and there's a lot of walkers and yeah. stuff. Like I took my son to school yesterday because I'm like, ah, it's just cold. A bunch of schools were closed yesterday too because our back roads still aren't plowed. Yeah, your icy, icy black yeah. back roads. Like our yeah. main one is kind of plowed, but I got almost home yesterday and we live in back roads. So it's like there's only roads every mile or whatever. And a semi, I don't even know why a semi was on the road, but they slid off the side of the road. And so then there's a tow truck trying to pull it out. So the road's just closed. So I had to back because you can't turn around. There's not enough room to turn around. I backed up about a half mile. There was a driveway and then I was able to flip around and get to the next road. Wow. I was so close to home. And then I had wow. to go like 15 minutes around. To get around. Oh, there's no so around. Annoying. I watched a um, thing this morning. And it was Houston with ice <laughs> and just cars. Just, oh like, gosh, just just, so it was just all over the roads. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long ago it was or whatever. But and we think we're bad. Or at least we know how to. Yeah. There, I mean, there yeah. wasn't even snow on the roads. It yeah. was just, it was like bumper cars just I, everywhere. I watched oh. a hilarious video this morning. And it was a woman who did not have four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive or anything. And she gets almost to the top of this hill, and she's like, I'm pressing on the gas, and her car just stops. And as calmly as she can, she's, like, freaking out, but very calmly. She's like, okay, I'm a good driver. I can do this. And then, like, the car starts, like, she starts backing it down the hill, and there's kind of, like, a driveway towards the bottom of the hill or a road or something that she can pull into. Halfway down, though, she, like panics real good and she's like ah, ah, and she like screams and then she's like okay I'm okay I'm a good driver and then she like gets into I love the, the self-talk yeah and then as soon as she like pulls into the road she's like I'm calling my dad <laughs> I was laughing so hard oh I can't say it was like the her. calmest pam- panic ever though oh. well I did I was going to our driveway and I and I couldn't get into our road to go to the driveway a couple of years ago. And I just, it was just pure ice. Yeah. And I, but you're on ice, but you're going so slow. And I wasn't sure what was over the ravine at the end of our road. Ooh. So I <laughs> opted to go to my neighbors kind of, and there was a tree there. And I'm like, well, I'm going to hit the tree because yeah. I'm going so slow. I'm not going to, but I'm like, okay, Sedona, we're going to hit the tree. Like I have time to yeah. go. We're going to hit the tree, but it's going to be okay. Right. And so I go to hit their tree and I hit their trash can. We come to this gentle stop. The trash can stopped us from hitting their tree. Yeah. And my neighbors come out. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'll buy you a new trash can. Yeah. But then I couldn't even back up. They had to, because it was so ice. So then and all I could think of is their husband's going to come home and he's going to hit the car, right, my cause car, because he, he won't stop. be able to stop. Oh. So they they like pushed me out. So I, they're like, don't worry about the trash can. Push me out yeah. so I could make it. Oh, so well, now I just come yeah. so slow on that because it was just like an ice skating rink. I, I mean, I was stopped, yeah. but I, my car just kept going. The road we grew up on, there's like this oh. little road that mm. goes down into like a very busy very main busy. road. Yeah. And it's, it's downhill. Hill. Yeah. Yep. And so you would start stopping almost at the top. And sometimes you literally by the bottom couldn't stop. One of our that neighbors started me. salting the bottom. And mm. then the neighbor who's grass that it ran into yelled at him for salting the bottom it's like it ruins my grass Ew. i'm like you want people sliding want out people into to a die? 55 mile an we hour we were road? just there wow. two nights ago because we were returning a car and it is we we're stopping to still and you knew you had out. to like go into halfway. that like ditch half the time it it was a pretty big ditch but you usually didn't go very far into it you just had to catch that edge to stop you That's had terrifying. to stop before you went out into it but yeah. yeah learning to drive like the corner onto that road was always slick so my dad taught us how to do donuts because you were going to like slide there. Yeah. Oh, you hate did that. anything just not to go into that road. Yeah. Anything. And then you would there. go down to the next because it was flatter. So you wouldn't go yeah. into the road. Yeah. But, gosh, one thing the city would do one something time about on that. Owen Road, though, I just got my license and I had a terrible car. I mean, I had a hoofty and it was snowing really hard. They dismissed us from school early because it was snowing so hard. And I called my dad who I believe was at home. <laughs> and I don't know why he was at home, but he was. And I was like, I am so scared to drive. And he's like, I don't care. I had all the kids in the car. I'm freshly 16. 
I get on Owen Road. All five kids in one yeah, car. All, yeah, sure. I've got yeah. all my siblings in the car with me. I'm terrified to drive. And he's like, do it anyway. I get on Owen Road and I'm right on that like bridge over the highway and the light turns red. And I had plenty of time, but it was just that pure ice. And it was. I was going so slow. Ugh. And the car just started like turning sideways. And I'm like, okay, we're probably going to hit that car. Like there's nowhere for me to go. I, this won't stop like four inches from the car, the car just stopped. But I was like completely sideways in the lane. It's uh, the scariest feeling when you're like, oh, okay. And yeah, you've got time, so but there's just nothing you time. can do. There was just, and no. it was like creeping. Like we probably could have jumped out in the car and tried to push it with how to slow not, it was going. To not do it. That's like the scariest it's thing. It's almost like that, what is that broom ball thing yeah. where it's like it's inching that yeah. they like, you're like <laughs> sweep it to stop oh, yeah. it. What is doing it, it. That it is, is. What is that broom ball? Or it's, it's, the, the, it's the rocks. It's those stones that you like slide. What is that That called? Olympic event yeah. that you do. Bob Ashley, curling. Curling, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you feel like your car it. curling. Yeah, <laughs> remember Bob went to do it yes. and it was like the highlight of his life. Yes, I do. I don't understand why they like shuffle the ball, like they sweep because, it and set up because the they want it to get to a certain place. Yeah. yeah, like if you sweep harder, it makes it go faster. You can try to like angle Is it. Is it like the friction or something, like melting the ice? Or well, I think it's just not hitting all the like bumps and stuff. Oh. So you're, or like, smooth it out. It might warm For it. A path. Clearly, we're curling experts. Yeah, we we're not science it. experts. I, we so. did watch a whole documentary on the curling. Of stones. course, you did. <laughs> I think we were watching like something about the Olympics and the I curling I actually feel like sport. you sent that to us because it was something about the stones and it, how they made they, it. Yeah, they come from like this one island yeah. and they're, it's the craziest yeah. thing I've ever seen. And they're like, it's like the a only, Scottish island or something. Or am I making that it's up? It's somewhere cold. Yeah. It's <laughs> that somewhere that sense. gets cold. Yeah. I don't remember. We watched I think it years you ago. are rivaling Papa. And Logan and for the and Branson for this you yes for the this random knowledge. They watch interesting stuff though. Sometimes she'll tell we us do. about it. You know, and no, I'm like, I think I it's wonderful. That. It's just yeah. so random. Yeah. We're watching <laughs> where do curling stones come from? <laughs> Let's watch Gotta a three-hour know. documentary. You have to know where curling stones come from. Yeah. No, it was a whole. It was more than that, but it was super interesting. We watch a lot of like how it's made and stuff. I like love that. those. Yeah, we we're watching a food one though this mm -hmm. week. Where and, I can decorate on $200 um, <laughs> and two cans. <laughs> yeah, we were watching a food one and we were eating dinner and they were making cheeseburgers. And so they took every ingredient of the cheeseburger and took you through the how it's made. Estelle was bawling. She started, we had to like turn it off. Because of was, the, with like go to the, it was, the tower or something? Yeah, oh. how they got, and she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you know it's a cow. She's like, but they're cute. And she's like crying. I'm like, Aww. okay. I think we all have a moment in our lives where we're a vegetarian for like three weeks when we find out well, where animals come from. It's kind of that thing like you know it happens, but you don't really want to see yeah. it happen. Yeah. And I, or think about it. I felt it. that yeah. way too. We ended up shutting it off. Yeah. It was like, okay, the cheese was interesting. The bread was interesting. Yeah. The... um the cat you yeah. know well we, we used to have a franchisee who was in as he called middle beef which by the way he placed an order this week with us like all of yeah. our past franchisees have been it placing is. orders so many past I know. franchisees have I know. placed I, orders i wrote it's him a funny. note and told him hi from us um but he was in middle beef and that's like yeah. they were all about like you know making sure they got fed i'm like oh don't name them you well, know and they were talking um they would talk a lot about like the tracking of beef and where it comes yeah. from and i mean with salmonella yeah. and all sorts of that pro because it because it processes so many times yeah. trace that traceability is super important gosh you would have to wonder because like when they have a recall like how do they like know mm. where it came from and from what lot like did they do like 10 when cows it's life threatening i mean it's no. yeah e coli yeah. or how many pounds well, are out into the universe well that's time. what remember they were part of that program where it's like yeah. serious tracking i can't remember what it's traceability. called traceability yeah, yeah it's just like, like the fda standards are not yeah. so like when i had to take that class about allergens and it was like about peanut butter and how they process the plants and they actually have like wind that goes to the plants in like certain directions and I they have that. curtains that separate it because you can't have the allergens blow out the other way and you're like, oh my gosh, but peanut allergens are so important. Sure. Well, and that's, yeah. I mean, you think about like medicinal marijuana now. Yeah. And I, I mean, I was talking to someone about that and that's especially medicine, right? Yeah. So, and then the, when you're introducing new plants and in the quarantine periods and well, yeah. probably all propagation then, of plants. And I think it was $150 serious. a plant or was it $1,500 a plant? 
And so then, I mean, you can destroy whole crops. Wow. If you have contamination in it. I mean, that's crazy. Different than coffee trees, right? Yes. We've had entire. Yeah, crops wiped destroyed out by the um, and coffee it's bean three to five years rust. harvest. So yeah. it's three to five years, which mm-hmm. brings us to what we're going to do in Costa Rica. We are. We're going to go to Costa Rica. So a week from today, Lori and I will be in Costa Rica. Yeah. Um, we're going to go and visit the La Hacienda farm. Oh, so you know what was funny? Today, Will wanna he wanted to see pictures of the farm. So if you Google Hacienda La Manita, he's like, hey, by the way, do you know on Google most of the photos are your photos? And I'm like, I'm kind of a big deal. But, you know, anybody can post pictures on Google. Well, they <laughs> sent us a lot of really cool information on the farm. And yeah. I think we wrote, wrote a whole blog about it and stuff because yeah. you can't find information. They have, like, their website, and you can find a little bit of information. Yeah. But they haven't posted a ton of information yeah. about their own farm. Yeah, I think it's so, ours information. Yeah. Was that, was it, yeah. Oh, really? I no, think I we wrote that. more about their farm than they wrote about their yeah. farm. But they did provide us, like, a whole but it was a folder of like printed pages yes. and stuff. Yeah. So we were supposed to pick coffee there, but um, the coffee picking season changes. So last time we went, we went there, it was the beginning of February. We were able to pick coffee. This season, the coffee picking period ended up being a little bit earlier. So they're actually already well, done that's picking. That's surprising because you guys yeah. are going in January. We're too. going in January. So um, yeah, it's a, a week earlier or two weeks earlier than we went last time. And there's no coffee left to pick. So we're going to go to the nursery and we're going to plant coffee trees, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's that is pretty cool. cool. Yeah. And they are cute. I saw the little baby trees last time. Yes. Because I've gone, and one time I went, they were flowering, which I only feel, happens yeah. like a week or two like, in, this, in the whole season. You guys yeah. should season, take so it's pretty gloves cool. and earphones and pretend that they're mandrakes when you're planting these <gasps> yes. coffee trees and like make it like a big like a Harry dramatic thing. thing. Like, <laughs> we should sing to them. <laughs> oh, like that make it cute. sing to the little coffee if trees. If I sing to them, they're not going to grow. We're not going to do that. You've got a pretty voice, trees. Patty. Yeah, I know. You're the one that walk around singing all the time. <laughs> In your little karaoke mic that oh I my bought. Gosh. I love my karaoke mic. Speaking of mic. singing, I went to make my lunch yesterday upstairs, and I don't know if everybody was on break or maybe they had left for the day, but Roger was out there packing coffee by himself and just like j- out loud, like just really? singing, what was jamming, they singing? dancing, boxing. Like I, I have no idea. That. Really? It, it didn't sound like English. Yeah. So Roger is from Ghana and he works here. Or it's Ghana, right? He's been he's here from? for, he's been in the U.S. for a couple months now. Yeah. He, his wife is here, yeah. so he moved here to be with her. What's so cool is how much like we're learning about his culture. Oh, so cool! And Very then like what we love is that like like okay, so like last week was the first week that it really snowed, and him getting here was like a next level experience. He drove here oh, and he, he asked was him, so he's scared. like, "You didn't even ask me if I was okay." And we're like, <laughs> "What? <laughs> like, what do you mean? It's it's Michigan. We just didn't even really think about it." <laughs> He but was then, so um, scared driving. He's like, I was so scared. Yeah. Oh, the boys yeah. took him sledding, right? So he went slow. Yeah. But then he yeah. wanted to go sledding. Yeah. So they took him. They had a couple of beers <laughs> <laughs> first before they went sledding. Well, and they took him with Emmett, who's what, like eight or nine? Yeah, yeah. he's such a good kid. Yeah. And um, and him and, and Emmett, I guess, just wouldn't come off the hill. Yeah. They ca- He kept, they're like, okay, it's time to go. And he's like, no, no, no. That wasn't, we need one more really good one. <laughs> yeah. One more time. One time more time. Again, and they're like, it's time again. to go. No, no, no. That's one funny. more time. Hi, well, and he was calling all his friends like back home and like video chatting them about it. And, stuff. and how great it yeah, was. Yeah, it's just really yeah. different. Mm-hmm. Lauren, yesterday I got a Chick-fil-A reward in my, um, you know, app, and it said that it was courtesy of your dad, and I felt like it was very personal to me, That's and that, you know, somehow he personally chose me to receive these free tater what tots. <laughs> what, what's today? Today's, Today's Wednesday. Okay, so Wednesday. my kids didn't have school Monday for Martin Luther King Day, and out of all the breakfast places, they chose Chick-fil-A. I always so I went Chick-fil-A. and got them some chicken minis mm. in the morning. Mm. Eat it every day if I could. If it was closer, I'd eat it every day. I love me some Chick Fil A. Well, it's right on my way. Yeah, but um, well, just remember me every time. I got it for time. last week, mm-hmm. right when they were off. Yep, when yeah. I had that yeah. chicken tortilla soup, yeah. and it was so good. We were, and, like, they were fighting comforting. over lunch because Estelle wanted Taco Bell, which I'm not eating at Taco Bell. Dallas wanted a cheeseburger, and then they saw Chick Fil A on DoorDash. And that's where we ended up. Mm, so good. So, I was on my Lauren. way home from the meeting. Yes. I'm like, well, if you're going by Chick Fil A, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or all the rewards are always Bella. personal. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lauren. I, I'm really going to enjoy my tater tots courtesy of your dad. <laughs> yeah. I made me feel special. I got a little notification like, Greg McKay wants you to enjoy these tater tots. I'm like, I sure will. It is weird, though, because like for so long, we oh, it was our Florida like yeah. treat, yeah. you know? And I called it Chick-fil-A. 
Yes. Because that was yes. what I, I thought so. of the yeah. name was. You did that for years, and we'd laugh every time you said it. Gosh, you said something the other day that was wrong, and I laughed, and I forgot to tell you about it afterwards. It was really cute, whatever you said. Because I oh, thought no. it was real. <laughs> no, <laughs> was a problem. You said something, and I was just like, nope, that's not right. Well, remember, Dad at Orange Lake, we used to go get up. We'd get up so early. We'd go to water aerobics, and then we would go get you and Crystal chicken minis after. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, chicken minis. It's like our Florida. Now I have kids, and I'm up that early anyway. Just yeah. go to the pool. It was our reward for doing water aerobics. <laughs> a lot of times, though, I can send them in with Dad in Florida. I'm like, oh, mm. go attack Kaka. Sure, he's awake. You know, there yeah. is water aerobics available at the spa that we're going to next month. But, um, but it's probably like real water aerobics. Yeah, but yeah, these were like, we were like with the 80 year old women. Well, so it was. And the instructors, the um, resort, they don't, I don't think they do this as much anymore, but they used to bring a lot of people out. Is it an I 9 visa or something? They would come yes. work for the mm, season yes. from out of the country, yeah. but it, and they would say like their countries on their tags and mm -hmm. stuff. But it was really cool because you got to learn a lot about tree, oh, yeah. All tree, of the different <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I remember one time they did like it was like you got in a circle and you like did the massage, like massage this oh, way and, and the like, massage yeah, that way. Like and, summer camp. and I and I massaged this way and then went to massage this way and. It was an extremely hairy man. Oh. And I was just like. Put a shirt on. No. I don't know that I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, I oh, did not funny. sign up to touch your body sweater today. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh. That's funny. I'm like. I would, it'd be a hard no for me to touch somebody else's body hair like that. Absolutely not. Yeah. That, they only did that in one class. I don't remember them ever doing that. And my J-Lo instrument. I'm like doing body aerobics and there's this like little eight-year-old kid next to me. And Your whole stuff. suit. My yeah. whole suit. Just don't know. Yeah. Can you imagine being like a masseuse or something though? And like somebody comes in and they just got like a full it's body sweater. funny because like on the lake going tubing and stuff, we used to wear wetsuits a lot when we were tubing or doing stuff and then we'd have mm -hmm. friends come over and we'd be like, put this wetsuit on. And they're like, I'm not putting a wetsuit on. We're like, your choice. Yeah. And then when your bottoms are gone, <laughs> we're not, yeah. you know, a body I, sweater. <laughs> Sorry, Bill, I had to. It's like, we learned our lesson the first 55 times. Yeah. <laughs> where we were wetsuits. Yeah, then this wasn't just like a little, this was, was short. This was, this was covered. Yeah. It was, it was like this of hair. Well, and it's a lot of foreign people that go there anyway. Well, it's not like it's England someone and, I know. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's also a lot of Speedos walking around that yeah. place. Yeah. My, I, don't, I can't think of anybody that morning. I'd be okay with, like, rubbing their body hair. Like, yeah. It was no. just you like, know, huh? Then it was like, like oh. no. No. So now that we've knocked out that none of us are going to be masseuses any time in no, our life. No, I couldn't do it. So when we go to the spa, though, there are some really interesting treatments. And I know one of them is, what is it? Being floated in the Aqua water? Aquazen. Aquazen. Yes, yes. Sounds so weird. So you can pay several hundred dollars and someone can cradle you in the water, in the pool. Like like we are a baby and like swish you For like around. an hour. Someone's just going to hold you and move you around. And that's another hard limit for me. My, I don't want a stranger my holding me. Is doing it. Yeah. I think I can't wait. I I hope that I can watch it from a window and, and just, watch. You probably have to pay for that. <laughs> I just hope I can watch it. I don't think they're going to let you watch it. I think it's in the outdoor pool, so I'm hoping I well, can. Well, that just wouldn't watch be very it. relaxing, though. It has to be like in a private pool. I can you know, watch out the window. Everybody's like splashing next to her while she's trying to be like it all's in. Yeah, I'm I sure they like know. close it's the a very pool zen often. resort. There's probably like 15 people doing it all at the same time. I don't want somebody exactly. wearing a bathing suit to like hold me, or I don't know if maybe they're wearing a. No, I don't care I don't, about that. I I would I not know. be comfortable enough in the water. Yeah, because I'm not comfortable in the water. You guys are way more comfortable in the water than I am. Yes, I, I wouldn't be, be comfortable cradled. enough in the water to be. Yeah, like, I don't know. The yeah. only person I'd want to. I mean, do you guys, that people like are husband, professional you know? cuddlers. Can you imagine? Like, what? I, I would be yeah. a professional There's cuddler. There's a professional cuddler. I would be That's a professional a job. cuddler. It is a job. Yes, yeah, so you just like spoon with somebody, and you get paid a lot of money. I think people are need touch. People are are don't get enough what? touch. And I'm like, don't you can, touch me. I'm so not physical touch. Like, I'm with you. I think touch that. Piece, I'm with you. I mean, that. it's like figured little. Infants need it. Like, so yeah. probably people really just need physical touch. I wonder touch. if they brought that back, the, like, hospital snugglers. Because that was a thing. Oh, 
Oh, and then for babies? You. Yeah. Your and dad would be such a good snuggle. My dad, would, dad love would be a good snuggler. My dad would totally go and hold all yeah, the babies. That's like a volunteer yeah. position. Because yeah. babies that's super need it. important. So, yeah. I mean, people mm-hmm. probably, not in a creepy way, but probably yeah. people just really do. Well, like, you're mm-hmm. supposed to get so many hugs a day. And probably, honestly, my 14 year old doesn't even get enough hugs in a day. I my son, know. too, I'd say. I know yeah. um, when my kids were little and it was pre-COVID, they had to stay like two days at the special nursery. And there was like a lot of times I would go in and there would be like an older woman like sitting yeah. holding them. They usually have like NICU grandmas or something yeah, in there exactly. that volunteer. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes yeah, my dad should totally do that. would be an embarrassing thing to yeah. say I need physical touch. Yeah. But some people probably just really yeah. do. It's just really weird that like you can pay to get, I mean, I guess you, yeah. you can pay for a lot of things. But. I mean, yeah. it's pretty <laughs> innocuous. <laughs> All those professions. Well, it's funny because the books but that we read. if you're grieving or something. It's like a license. That might yeah. be a really, yeah. if you were really grieving yeah. a yeah. loss or depression or whatever, that might be. That's interesting. Um, somebody told me, and this is recently, which I never thought about, but if you are struggling with self-harm, um, that a solution for that is to go anywhere, drive anywhere where people are at. Because you will not self harm yourself In where other people. people are. And if you need help, please call the hotline. I don't have the number. It's 811 or something. I don't know. This is it a self harm hotline? There is a yeah. self harm hotline. And I know you're supposed to, if you ever talk about it, you have to say it. Oh, okay. oh really? Yeah, yeah, no, seriously. Yeah. Um, there is I'll, one, I'll but, I but somebody was on hold for two hours on this hotline. I'm just going to say. Um, mm. I was. Yeah. And not for myself. Somebody for else somebody was else. threatening it, and I didn't know what to do. So I um, called yeah, to get help. Yeah, it should be more. I thought it was 811. It's 988. Oh, 988. Sorry. So 811 like probably. So like if you feel like you're going to self-harm, you call 988? Oh, well, that's mental health and s- abuse. Oh, no. 988 is the suicide hotline. Okay. I didn't you know that if you were talking about. So if you ever need help, 988. But mm. I, th- I had never heard of this. Um, but if you... That is a strategy. I, you know, that I kind you of, can go. You sh- th- one strategy is that you go somewhere where there are other people. You don't even have to talk to other people. Yeah. But it is a strategy that you go where other people are because you won't do that with oh. other people generally. When I know Dallas was born, I had a very tough time with. Um, it wasn't like full out postpartum depression, but definitely like bluesy. It was you beyond had a tough blues. Time. No, yes. it was beyond blues. Mm-hmm. Like even at my six week appointment, he was like, "How are you?" And I just broke down in tears. He's like, "Okay," <laughs> and he like prescribed depression medicine, and mm-hmm. it was really weird because I picked it up and I plan on taking it, and then like three or four days later, I felt normal again. That's but I never felt like that. Like I yeah. remember like stupid stuff, like going to A and W, and I had everybody's orders, and I ordered them food, and I like panicked and then like I couldn't order myself food like and then I just went home and like cried and like weird stuff yeah. but um where I was going with this is I remember I was on my, supposed to be on my maternity leave and I would get up um take my daughter to daycare and bring Dallas to work because I just needed to be not by myself yeah just couldn't be by myself yeah. because I was like that's not going to be good for me right and you I were on maternity leave right? yeah he yeah. was very little yeah and I'm like, I'm just going to work because I, there's people there and yep. they love me. And yep. and we'll hold your baby and, you know. Yep. And I just can't be at you. home by myself. Yeah. That's tough. Because I, I didn't know. It was just like my instinct to like to leave. Just yeah. get with just people. Get yeah. out of the because house. I think people. often in those mind frames, you're in, mm-hmm. some of your, in, is to uh, the opposite of what you should do and you want to just be you like you're, is to to be quiet and be by yourself and i never heard that before that it's like you force yourself to go be by other people mm-hmm. um oh cool she, working on the michigan project for Francesca. oh very Yay. cool that's ethan awesome. nice to meet you ethan um i'll talk to you tomorrow actually. oh that's very cool yeah yeah. Looking forward to meeting so, you. So it, but instinctually, anyway, yeah. yeah so, it's interesting. But I'd never heard that before, so I thought that was interesting. So I think, I don't know, cuddles. I don't know. I don't care. No judgment here. If you need a cuddle and whatever, <laughs> if that makes you feel better. Because yeah. physical touch is a real thing, and I can see people, especially if they're grieving or going through that, I mean, whatever. Right. If you need a good mm-hmm. cuddle. I kind of even think about people like grandma. Or elderly butcher, people yeah, that just like, don't. 97 lives yeah. by herself. She, well, she lived by herself for a really long time. Now she she put herself into like a, a place to be around other yeah. people. Yeah. And she's really liking it because yeah. she's 
even though everybody checked up on her weekly, it's just not the same. It's mm-hmm. not the same. Her husband yeah. had passed a long time ago. People yeah. were busy, you know. Yeah. Because I think there can be, I think we give it some weird connotations that it doesn't have to have. And obviously some people will give it weird things. But honestly, I mean, physical touch is real. I heard too that when someone hugs you that you shouldn't let go until they let go. Then you might just hold on. Because who's the one who's going to let go? It'll be like forever. Well, like uncle. But some people do. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think they want that extra. Yeah. And I did yeah. that with somebody that I met in the store. And um, I will say she... Um, she got teary eyed and she was going through a really tough time and, and, and shared with me that she was going through a tough yeah. time at that moment. And, um, and I was really grateful that I kind of had done that because I think it opened up her heart a minute to say, Hey, mm-hmm. this is going on in my life right now. Yeah. And thank you for kind of taking a minute to talk to me. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had my dad's little birthday party thing, and Uncle Mark always gives the mm. best hugs. They're well, like the best, does. like squeeze hugs. I haven't seen him in years. Yes, I walk in and just give that big hug, and it's like, oh, yes, you just <laughs> feel does. safe. I know. You like feel safe. I don't know. He is. He is. But he's also the person who I would, like. I could call at any single time, and he would drop absolutely. I just everything. thanked I him that. for that because you know I just said there's even if you don't see him for you, you could call matter. him. He would mm-hmm. do Morning. anything for you. Anything. Hey, yeah, um, hey, I remember Deborah. even the one time you guys were gone or something, and I was hearing creepy noises outside, and I just called, and he came over and got me. I was Aww, like, you're not staying nice. here. I know okay. when you're in that hurricane, he's like, what do you need, a private plane? <laughs> I'll yeah. get you home. <laughs> I'll get you home. What do you need? <laughs> that's nice to have somebody like that in your well, life. Well, you know? that's why I told him. I said, yeah. how many people... How many people have someone in your life that even if you don't see them for years, you like literally I could call him and say, I need whatever. And if he had it, he would make it Absolutely. happen. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good person to have in your life That's for sure. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. He did though. He made golf balls for my dad for his birthday. And my kids had this like fake makeup set and they were like doing fake makeup. So it's literally my dad like getting fake lipstick put <laughs> on him, on, printed on the golf balls. Oh, I love that. It was not <laughs> from him though. He's, I thought he said it was from him. No. Mm-mm. They were from uh, our friend Dave. Oh, fun. Oh, I was, that was confusing. That's still a great present okay. for Kevin. It was funny. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. No, he tried to pay for his birthday party. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it was confusing. There was a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> but yeah. Always no, hug, he just, yes. Always hug like you mean it. That's what I tell my kids. Oh, that's do a that good advice. Mm-hmm. I like that. Hug like you mean it. That yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you never know when it's going to be your last. Aww. Even just like, so, you know, when you carry your kids around for years and it's like, you never know when you're just not going to carry them anymore. You mean my youngest son who outweighs me by 50 or 60 pounds now and I just is can't way taller that. than me. How I big know. you're, I mean, and I then you look at these and that's like, how were you ever, no. how, do, how were you ever not no. in my belly, but. And who just uterus. texted me right when we sat down here says, oh, you're going to bring need to bring lunch. There's no food here. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, we literally just went grocery shopping. You'll be fine. in fourth grade. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's some people that you just, it doesn't matter. You can, you can always yeah. count on them. It is. That's awesome. And it's so nice to blessed have, like have people that. in your life that way, yeah. isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like my parents will drop anything at oh, any yeah. time for me. Like, anything you need, they're just there, you know? My they're mom the best. would. Yeah. My, my dad's told me no a yep. few times when <laughs> no, I really needed yeah. him. Broken yeah. down on the side of the highway. Yeah. Call Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but how many times has no, he? No, he has. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. Yeah. Well, then sometimes you think like what situation is going to help you build more grit. So like my son on Monday got stuck or Sunday night got stuck in a parking lot. And I, he kept calling me and he's waiting for a tow truck. And you could tell he was all stressed out. And I was like, you know, he doesn't. He's been pretty privileged. He doesn't hasn't had Wait, a lot of. He's in a safe place. He's yeah, in a parking lot. He's not in the middle of nowhere. Like he's had like very and he's few pretty situations. far from you guys. Hour and a half from us and in horrible weather. Yeah, like and I mean, it's pretty dangerous for you to drive three hours. Yes, that's more dangerous than the situation he's in. Too. Yes, but you could tell that he was super stressed out by it. Mm-hmm. But it was just like okay, these are the things that are just going to build you character, yeah. and you've got to figure out. Yeah. Like we gave you the tools. Now go from there and see what you can figure out. It but your two mama days to bear yeah. instinct is to go save it. Did I call campus security and yell at <laughs> right. them? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Excuse me, Bill. It is hard. Did you to, know that you have a kid in the parking lot for three hours? It what is do you want hard to, do? to fight you know? that mama bear instinct just to go. I was mad. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, yeah. just to go save, but it's not yeah. always the appropriate thing to do no. either. No, it didn't help. 
but <laughs> it made me feel a little bit better to yell at somebody. <laughs> but if you would have gotten in an accident trying to do yeah, it, then that's yeah, not sure, a great solution sure. either. Yeah, there was a lot more snow out where he was rather than where we were. So, but he finally got towed after two days. He got it figured you know? out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I will say though, like at my college graduation, my tire went flat. I remember that. I barely made it to the parking lot, but I did yeah. make it to the parking lot for my college graduation. And the boys and dad went out and changed over to the donut so that <laughs> we could go home. Oh my gosh. Oh, which yeah. I didn't, we didn't even, like I walked the stage and we left. <laughs> it was hours. Yeah. Hours, it, hours. That was hours. crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to stay around well, long for that. Well, the person doing the, um, oh, the like goodness. speech, they tried to play him off like four times and he like didn't They get tried the to end it. Like people like clapped for him to stop. They clapped. They played music. They Why like, did he, he talk so just long? rambled. Yeah. Like, yeah. Rambled. I don't know what he was talking about. No, it oh was the most awkward thing. He just kept going. Yeah. That's it was like, it was awkward. He Couldn't just take a hint talking. that people were done no. listening, huh? No. <laughs> like people full out clapped for him to like, stop. Sir, like, sir, stop. sir, we're they done. They tried to play the music. They tried, and to then he just to... go on again. Oh my god, yeah. that's painful. It that's was painful. awful. Well, and to not take a hint, like at a point, like buddy, you've been yeah, talking a lot. Me once. and my college then twice, yeah. and our families were all like, "We're gonna uh, scoot out. <laughs> <laughs> we're done here now." Yeah, we didn't like throw, do yeah. the cat nothing. We're like, "Ah, we're gonna go eat." I watched my son's graduation on uh, what Facetime this year oh, since I had sick. yeah had COVID yeah. and I couldn't go to his graduation. But the um, speech was done by a teacher who was retiring, who's a good friend, and his speech was so good that people talked about it in Flushing for weeks afterwards. My well, then twelve year old came home and he was like, "This speech," and he could almost recount everything. I'm like, "Wow!" wow. To give a speech so good that people are oh, still wow. talking about it. That's oh, really like, good. Yeah, so just I was to keep impressed. warm with no caffeine. What's your favorite decaf? Oh, we got some well, good decafs, Adam. Oh. Our decafs taste virtually the same as our There's, regular I don't taste caffeinated any coffee. No. I will say, though, um, this is maybe something we should look into, is our straight decaf lineup. is Yeah, a we only have a two unflavored decafs. So um, that butter that rum is one a bit of my more. favorite decafs, and blueberry cobbler mm -hmm. are probably two of my I, favorite decafs. See, and I'm so partial to, I really like banana lately. Mm -hmm. Really into banana. Yeah. Um, what did I have again recently that I hadn't had in a while? I ordered creme, creme brulee. Yeah. Creme brulee is creme one brulee of my favorites. So creme brulee was the coffee I, I brought for my coffee. I think it was German chocolate notes. cake that I hadn't had mm. in quite a while. And I was like, That's oh, a good I had chocolate good raspberry one. lately too. That was really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, ever since I started drinking Costa Rica it, La Menina, just, like that's my coffee. It really depends how strong you like your flavors too. Like we've it been does. we've been noticing that people who will order Michigan or chocolate raspberry, the super like fruit forward flavors, yes. yeah. might try like a creme brulee, and they're like, it doesn't taste flavored. Yeah. And that is the problem. If you're used to getting our blueberry cobbler, Michigan cherry, the fruit f forward, Aww. like French mm. vanilla or Cafe Carmel oh. or those, you're not really going to, they're not going to be nearly as flavor forward yeah. and you're proud or the nut or the creams aren't nearly as flavor forward. So you might well, not care for those as I much. I think part of it too, is they meld a little bit better with the taste of coffee. So they complement it like a little bit more. So it's not that like that difference. Yeah. There's no like I, I want to say stark difference, but that's not it. It's contrasting. It's not yeah, as sure. like contrasting. Yeah. Yeah. It like blends really nicely mm -hmm. into the coffee flavor. Sure. So sometimes you don't notice it as much. Whereas like raspberry on coffee, that's you know super mm -hmm. contrasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's and, and yeah. And so I mm -hmm. like that. Like I love creme brulee. Or, oh, we have decaf beanery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do. Um, but it's well, your expectation for it, yes, right? Yes, for mm -hmm. sure. But th the same as if you drink a, a cherry pop versus a vanilla cream exactly. pop. Do you know what I mean? Your The flavor expectation needs to be different. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that somebody um, has that in their life and they get the bill hugs. Aww. He says he, that his friends say he gives the best hugs and oh. they just need a bill hug. I love that. That is, yeah. I've Virtual got a friend, hug. Chuck. He gives me like Chuck, the oh, best hugs. Oh, Chuck gives hugs. good hugs too. He gives really just all encompassing hugs. They're kind of like that. Mark hugs. And I was kind of <laughs> worried because honestly, he, he lost a bunch of weight and I was kind of worried that I wouldn't get that really big <laughs> hug, but he still gives really great hugs. Uh -huh. Yeah. I was kind of worried when he lost weight. I'm like, Oh, selfishly, <laughs> yeah. his health was way better. I'm sure. <laughs> um, but I was like, Oh, I really want those big bear Aww, hugs too. I love yeah. that. But, so a couple of weeks ago I put on our franchisee page or our um, VIP page, actually, 
asking for what kind of flavors everybody I was looking for that. this year. And we got a lot of really good comments oh, really? and feedback, oh, right? I yeah. see that. So um, one comment, I think it, maybe it was Sylvia, she wanted like a super vanilla, like a crazy powered vanilla. And I was I like, I wonder well, if we can even get that. Well, we yeah, talked about, about doing that. the f- like flavor, calling them like flavor mm-hmm. boost, yeah. super something, flavor yeah. or something and trying to get like. Like pushing the flavor pushing to the edge. Flavor. But yeah. it's, you gotta, they're kind of like, like a vanilla extract. Like if you drink vanilla extract, it's disgusting. Yeah. So we got to find that like line between like yeah. good flavor and like too much flavor. Well, yeah, where it gets her, into really, yeah, just a negative kind of connotation. That, well, it's that like almost alcoholy note like that yeah. you get in an extract. Yeah, I yeah. hate that. I wouldn't mm-hmm. like to pick that up. Well, and it, she's kind of like, it's kind of like mid range in her, in her opinion. But then the very next day, someone commented, the vanilla is perfect, never change it. So it's yeah. really interesting when you get the different comments that one person wants but more vanilla. She does drink yeah. a lot of the amarettos and the super powerful flavors, The more flavor forward flavors, absolutely. So that could be. And so yeah. we, we talked about doing that, trying to come up mm-hmm. with maybe mm-hmm. some of our traditional ones and calling them flavor boost or yes. and, and just trying it yeah. with a couple and seeing mm-hmm. if we could push that envelope mm-hmm. um, and seeing how people... Yeah. And I think React especially with some but of our they, mild there might be a little bit um price increase for that because it would be using more flavoring, which mm-hmm. costs more. Absolutely. We do so, have a local flavoring company that does do like super flavors mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That too. might be fun to start playing with more. So we yeah, we did talk about doing that. But well, you know, we've also talked about possibly adding vitamins to a couple of coffees, yeah. like doing mm-hmm. a vitamin coffee. Mm-hmm. Um it's, Probably in K cups. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think about that? Would yeah. you drink vitamins in your coffee, especially if it had more caffeine in it? Would that well, be when, something that you would like or well, not? Well, it wouldn't be caffeine. It would be like green tea extract or um, something that would add an energy, like more like an energy boost. Mm-hmm. Um, or would you want would it that be interesting? That. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It makes me wonder. How or would you want? Um, because yeah. there are some. I mean health pro like alertness well, we, properties or whatever well we don't necessarily want to do get into caffeine powder territory. yeah we're not gonna yeah. do no. that no oh i've had coffee that has caffeine powder in it and it's foul yeah <laughs> it might have been that it was bad coffee too but i don't know yeah i don't know um yeah i think it's interesting i mean i think it's an interesting idea i would be interested especially in a k-cup probably um to have my vitamins in the morning mm-hmm. that's something that i've thought about doing yeah yeah, and just, like an alertness boost, I guess, or an energy boost. But yeah, yeah I for me, it'd be more that. like an afternoon coffee. Well, it's hard because I do. I have my like Arbon fizzes that have yeah. all my vitamins and stuff mm-hmm. in them yeah. in water, and I do that. But a lot of times, I don't eat in the morning, so I don't know if I'm actually absorbing any of those vitamins because I'm taking an empty anything. Yeah, but so I guess coffee would kind of be the same thing. Like, yeah, you know, I wonder if we should be like recommend us whatever snack to absorb the whatever vitamins. Yeah, it'd be interesting to mess with and see how that goes. But I mean, I know when I drink my fizzes, uh, if I, whatever you don't absorb just comes out. Yeah. So right. sometimes right. it's very electric. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, like, oh, I guess I didn't need any vitamin C today. <laughs> well, and I would say overall, like most people ask for apricot cake to come back as an everyday coffee. Yeah, that I did was like a the very apricot. popular flavor. And it was so different than anything else yeah. that we have. I mean, I think apricot is such a unique flavor yeah. compared to everything else. I think we are getting else. ready to do more K-Cups too. And we figure yeah. out we're really only missing like three, three really? or four. Yeah. We're going to, yeah, we're going to run the sales of last year. I know that was another the to-do mm-hmm. list for this half year. Half calf and pods. We never really... Oh, I wonder that. if people would do that. Yeah. Half calf's getting so much more popular. Well, and half calf is one thing like I can buy two bags of coffee and make my own half calf at home, right? But I can't do that with a pod unless, unless I buy the a reusable cup. Oh, yeah. That is yeah. interesting. The right? half calf and pods. Yeah. It's so much easier for us to do pods now with the new machine. So well, we yeah. can use the same box and put And then another thing that we mm-hmm. have talked about is doing uh to your point, is just a high energy or a high caffeine coffee. Yeah. But not with caffeine powder or like, anything. Like yeah. maybe using like a Robusta coffee, yeah. which innately has more caffeine. Yeah. We can still get specialty grade Robusta coffees, yeah. mm-hmm. which have more caffeine. Yeah. yeah and, and it is kind of, uh, it's not a cheat, but it is, I mean, we use all Arabica coffee. Um, Robusta naturally just has twice the caffeine. Mm-hmm. So it is just using 
Yeah, yeah, it'll be interesting to start tasting them. I come from the old school of all robusta is bad, right? But yeah. I know you've had quite a few that you said are quite good. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, well, there, there is a good prop, robusta coffee. Was it propagate and cultivate so many more? We yeah. just come plants. from that. We and we do that in trading. Well, not, yeah. all, not all. Yeah. Air, air, Arabica. No, I can't Arabica. even say it. Arabica <laughs> coffee is bad. Yeah. Or good and equal. robusta. Yeah. It, you know, they're yeah. especially great on both sides. Yeah. Well, and, and the markets are different. They mm -hmm. both operate on different markets. So it's very interesting how the markets can be very different for both. Yeah. Well, and you'll just see, like, especially when we come back from Costa Rica next week, we'll show you guys the care that goes into that really high level coffee. Because when you see the difference of what these people are doing to the coffee, you're like, wow, okay, I get it. This is crazy. They literally have a room of women who are hand sorting the defects out of the beans. Yeah. It um, is crazy. It's like, wow. And they're great. They're all in the room. They're working together. They're having a good time and they're making sure that the coffee is perfect. Well, yeah, because it's not like they do that all year. They do it like just for like a week or two, like twice a year. But their it's whole not... families that come in and yeah. work on the farm. And um, I love it because the farm just started doing a daycare so okay. um, they have these, we're going to go and visit the daycare when we're there. They have these cute little chubby babies. Um, I already picked out the one I want to take home. <laughs> <laughs> I forget to take my medicine if I don't have coffee. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, funny. And that's kind of what I thought mm -hmm. too. I mean, if you yeah, have it in your that. morning cup of coffee, I wouldn't forget. I, yeah. so I have I'd to like keep the idea of my it. medicine in my purse because I have realized I I yeah. will not take it. I'll put it. it in my pockets to take later. I which try I think to I take it at today. night. I just keep, <laughs> yeah, I just keep it like literally in my purse now mm -hmm. or it doesn't get done. I had high hopes. I tried the little containers. I tried all the stuff to remember it at home and I'm so busy getting the kids out the door that by the time I'm like, I've forgotten my lunch. I've forgotten my, oh gosh, it's, yeah. you know, how many times I leave home. I know Africa is highly requested. Mm -hmm. The apricot, I think we apricot was apricot. really, really it's good. So good. Mm -hmm. And Apricots I really, and honestly, I just had that chai recently too. That oh, chai coffee was delicious. The Marsala really chai. That, that was chai very... was really, and just so different too. I love that chai People coffee. People were confused. That was a confusing one though, right? Right. Yeah, I everybody thought that it was, that it was yeah. chai, yeah. not coffee. And, um, what do they call that? Like a dirty chai? Yeah, a chai that has a shot of espresso in it would be yeah. like a dirty chai. Yeah. And and actually somebody in our comments asked for a dirty chai flavored coffee. So interesting. Yeah. And there's somebody else wanted a white chocolate raspberry. Um yeah, that would rather be good. we have like a white chocolate strawberry, but they wanted the white chocolate raspberry. I'm trying to think what else. You guys are running us out yeah. of shelf space with all these flavors. I know. <laughs> and we have so many good like options to go with too. I have um eight different coffees in my office right now for us to try. Especially a weird one for you guys. To we try should do that. Gosh. We should mail it out and yeah, and Deborah message um, and said that Let's when next time we do an R and D, like they send her yeah. some. So I yeah. like that, and yeah. I think we should try it with people. We'll yeah. do it. We should do that. Yeah. We should get a date scheduled in February, get yeah. it mailed, yeah. and then try it all together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Obviously, not the week we're at the spa. We're gonna yeah. try to do a live from the spa. See how it works. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> we we might be forget. in the middle of being floated in the pond. I'm not sure. Well, <laughs> and sure. we have like at the spa, yeah. you have to like what we do. We have phone no, beds. Um, um, they give you a sleeping bag for your phone because you're supposed to be disconnecting from technology and finding your inner peace and self. You know, like. But oh. I think because we, we are staying there, we have a room. So I'm pretty sure in our we have, room we yeah, can do whatever you can do want. in your room. And they said there's yeah. designated areas like around the resort. And then I read like you can use your um, phone like if you're at the pool or something. But they they prefer you only use that as like an e-reader. Like yeah. you only use your Kindle app or your like. I chime. think in public places, but our room should be our private space. Yeah. So yeah, we can have so they said yeah. we'll just do sign. it from our room. Yeah. Which, After our two mile hike. Which fair. Yeah. I mean, I might be a little winded. Yeah. They're trying to get you to relax and most times technology is oh, not for sure. very relaxing. Yeah. 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 We have an 8 a.m. Hike, hike in the desert that morning. With and um, I am absolutely terrified of rattlesnakes. And a couple of things that I've seen have been like, oh, you might see rattlesnakes. And by the way, make sure you close your patio door in case a snake comes in. And I'm like, Britain, just so you know, I'm checking the bed every night for snakes. The crazy thing, too, is we're going in February in Arizona. And so people who live there think it's like freezing and stuff. But yeah. we're looking at weather and we're like 70 degrees. 70 Ooh. sounds great. 65, <laughs> yes. Again, you know? I remind you, we have a negative 20 wind chill. Well, even like, I know Charles was saying last week, it was In supposed Texas. to be really cold. And then they yeah. were doing that TikTok challenge 
where the people are going outside with wet hair oh, and then I saw the hair. Freeze, your hair can crack. Stands up. Yeah, that is yeah, so bad for your so hair. Bad. Like yeah. you shouldn't do that with your hair, people. Yeah. Like I, if I in Michigan, I'm. But if your hair broke hair, off, I put a hat on it to walk outside because yeah. it's wet. If yeah. your hair broke off, could, your hair too. would break <laughs> off. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. not smart. To, don't off. do this TikTok challenge with your hair. There's a lot of TikTok I don't challenges know if it's people really should true. be doing. I, don't, I honestly don't know if it's true that it can break off, but I'm pretty sure it can. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it's like an icicle. You're turning your hair into an icicle. Going outside with wet hair. Yeah, I don't know. Or just going outside in general sucks right now. So why would you do it with wet hair? That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did learn how to, well, Brett learned how to remote start my car. So <laughs> that's good. You didn't know how to remote start your no car? No idea. Bless your heart. Oh, my so. oh Lord. <laughs> I will say, though, like, I have the app on my phone and I know the first year I got the car I like paid for the app only in the winter yeah. I didn't do it this year or last year I've just tried to be really good about starting my car so yeah. freezing when the kids Kevin's been great he's like made my lunch every you might day have a free app, and then though. well it's you just do the Please. lock and then double the oh, yeah, thing you tonight, I'm assuming you're great oh Yes. Or the movie Janelle. tonight. We it's are. Our, we're, we're going to see Mean Girls, Girls, but you know what? Is it a musical? Did I hear it? It is a musical. Is it? But it's interesting because like Tina Fey is in it. So I was like, is she going to sing? We just I saw a mus- something we just saw. Oh, we, mm-hmm. oh, Kevin watched Mama Mia. Tina Fey's oh, in the, good. we're watching on Hulu, Only Murders in the Building. And Tina Fey's oh, in that. Oh, really? But it's like Steve Martin or yeah, Steve Martin, right? Martin Short and Selena Gomez. Really? It's super cute. Really? Because like they haven't, I haven't seen them in anything in a long time. Yeah, I just watched the Three like Amigos the and they were in Three of that. them and they have like a <laughs> murder podcast and it's just so incredibly ridiculous. Oh it's gosh. hilarious. Um, speaking of murder podcasts, that book I'm reading, um, Bill, take notes. Um, none of this is true. I'm in the, I'm not done with it yet, but it's wild. And then I just finished reading Behind Closed Doors. My friend Tiffany told me to read it. That's okay. insane too. There's You've got to read that. That's actually really good. There's a guy on Netflix and like eight of his books have been picked up by Netflix and made into shows. Really? So Fool Me Once, we're watching that, Jason and I. It's insane, but apparently it's a book. Do you and know then, who, who wrote it? Um, I mean, oh, look, up, it up. look up Fool Me Once and then Safe, Jason just started watching. He said it's just as crazy. Really? And they're like I love crazy. thrillers, I would say. Okay. Like scary, scary thrillers? No, not super scary. Okay. And it's a book for But, like, just lots of twists and turns. Harlan Corbin. I've seen that name oh, before. Oh, Harlan Corbin. He's a yeah. pretty well-known author. Yeah. So, like, eight mm. of his um, things have been picked up into, like, Netflix series, which we're just now figuring out. And yeah. I don't think they're new. Is he a, like, de- know, he's I've... a detective or something. They're, like, oh, detective. Oh, yeah. Ones. Bill yeah. knew right away. Yeah. They're super crazy. They're Bill, kind what of, do you think? Have you read the books? And are the all, books like, as detective. good as the show if you've seen it? I'd like to know that. I feel like I read I his book. Yeah, I know. Books, I feel like I need to books. go read the books because the yeah. shows are pretty nuts. Yeah. Well, since a year and a half of my life has been taken up with J.D. Robb. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. About like six more months. Yeah. I love, though, because, like, we're going to that book convention in April, and Lori's been reading all the books from, like, Andy Authors, and yeah, some yeah. of them are just real unique. <laughs> There's some real different different authors Have in there. Have a hair appointment. See you tonight. Bye. You See love you his tonight. books. Yeah. I'm, after J.D. Robb, I might read some of his books. Because the show is mm-hmm. super interesting. I we were reading all, what, 58? Listening to all 58 of this J.D. Like Robb books. 39. But I did change I'm like my 45. audible speed to 1.2 because it's I've like never done that. a little bit fast, but not yeah. so fast you can't understand it or anything. Okay. Yeah. Once you got past that, I'm like, this isn't even comfortable to listen to. Yeah. Yes. But 1.2 cuts like two hours out of the book. Oh, oh really? Okay. Because they are like 13 or yeah. almost 14 hours. Yeah. But when I listen to it falling asleep, though, I do slow it back down. Okay. It's more like relaxing. I miss some, but you catch up. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can figure it out. Yeah. yeah. When I fall asleep, okay, I'm like, I think I listen. Then you have a debate where people say, if you l- listen to the book, you haven't read the book. And I've been That's involved online. Says. My husband thinks the same thing. There's some very heated debates of people who don't think that you've actually read the book. Okay, but like think about when you're five and somebody reads you a book. If so you're, you're blind, saying, you're saying right, you yeah, never read a book. Said. Like what if I had a disability and I couldn't read, physically of read the book? Of course you read the book. Right. I know what happened in the yeah. book. So it's definitely right. It would the be book. the same as if somebody read it to you. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, is, actually, somebody reading it is someone reading yeah. to you. So yeah, of right. course you read the book. Right. But I've been in a lot, involved in some very heated debates online where people really are adamant. Like you didn't really read that much because, you know, you or what about to like it, it takes you're, twice you're as long black, for someone to read it to and you. you mess up. Like it'd be so much easier to have right. somebody. Yeah, if oh you my gosh, I can read so much faster than someone reading it to me. I know, right? But now that you can turn that speed up. 
I just can get housework done if somebody reads it to me. Absolutely. I mean, we read a lot last year because a lot of it is like I, I listen. I have two books at a time: one I read and one I listen to. Right. Yeah. And when I'm driving, I like to listen. And then when I'm at you home, guys, I read, read this whole series. I was almost to the end. I was like three out of four books in, and then I realized in the reading order that she said, "Do not start at this." Point. You have to read this whole other series first. Oh, so I backed no. up and I'm reading the other series. That kind of first. happened what? with. It's not what I'm reading. The little. No. There was a series that was like that, where like three or four of them connected that we Zodiac read. Zodiac did that yeah, with Dark Fae. Was, yes. And, and there was yeah. an actual reading order. And, and you would read like one yes. from this series and like one from oh, the yeah, series. Oh, yeah. When it was that, interconnected. She I tried said to you didn't find have to that do that. Series, um, or that to show the one of my friends order. last week. So I'm like, it's kind of. It was interesting to read it like that because it was from different series. It's on the reading list of the convention we're going to so uh, now there's like 12 books i have to read i feel like uh, there's yeah. been some interesting ones i kept on it that list. i and kept it up on my google tab yeah. forever so i could remember the order but yeah he yeah probably we should need to get back to work because <laughs> we have children and they got very quiet out there yeah. yes <laughs> What's so new? I'm like that's what I was gonna say. Here's becoming well, a daycare we'll be this in week. Uh, Costa Rica next week. But you'll yeah. be and I will. You'll be, be here. here. We'll be trying the subscription box with you, which hopefully you guys should be getting. Um, with Monday being a holiday, we tried to send out what we could yes, before. Yes, you should get it. Hopefully Mail's early. Just mm-hmm. A little bit behind. I think we got everything else. And out. everybody mm-hmm. knows what it is, right? It's the hot cocoa. Theme. Hot cocoa. Yep, they just might not know all the flavors yet. Okay. Yeah. And if you're a VIP, which I've already seen a couple of VIPs order um, the coffee, we did not make as many K-Cups or 12-ounce this time. It's yeah. going back to the normal amount. To the normal yeah. amount, yeah. So VIPs really will get to get what they yeah, want so if they some subscribe. some people have already snagged. That's awesome. Some, mm-hmm. um, it goes live to everybody else, I think, like, usually the 22nd, the week after. It's a good way to ensure that you get first dibs. And then we'll try it next Wednesday, and I'll have some special guests. I'm just not sure who yet. <laughs> and then we will have an update from Costa Rica when we get back. A, a Costa Rica update and a Habitat for Humanity update. Oh, right. We'll find out how we're much we're donating to the them. the final numbers, but yeah. you got, I think every, everybody's going to be happy. Good. So. I'm excited to know what we get them. I love that. Oh, we could Jody. invite her um, to the... To the thing, and she could talk a little bit yeah, about what should. they do. We should. Yeah. Give her okay, the big shot. Ask Kathy here. Morning, Charles. Hey, Thank Charles. You're catching us on our way out. Aw, <laughs> happens warm. We're in Texas this week, bud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have a wonderful week. Bye.